This weekend, the nation will pause to remember the events of September 11th, 2001. Many of us lived through that horrific day, but it's more of a history lesson for students who were not born at that time. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson joins us now from Hancock County with how one middle school teacher teaches about 9-11. I spoke to Eric Harnish, a seventh grade history teacher here at Mount Vernon. He tells me he was in the third grade on September 11th, 2001, when those terrorist attacks occurred. September 11th, 2001, I was in third grade. Eric Harnish remembers that day well. Just seemed like teachers were kind of out of sync that day in terms of something else on their mind. Um, it wasn't until I got home after school that I first saw the actual footage of planes hitting the towers and things like that. But it's a day I remember very well, probably, you know, out of my childhood that one sticks out quite a bit. Now, a seventh grade history teacher, Harnish says this is one of the few lessons he teaches that he can give his students firsthand knowledge of. Most of what we cover with ancient Egypt, ancient China, you can't do that. I mean, I've been to China, but that's as close as I get. So the fact I can kind of tell them how it affected me, how it affected my family, how it affected the community as a whole is really what separates it. Harnish says he likes to use home videos from survivors and people who were there when it happened. However, he says it can be tough to find a good balance. There's so much available in terms of survivor interviews and like new footage and things like that. Uh, the only difficulty is trying to find what's appropriate for the age group. So seventh grade, you're 12, 13 years old on average, and you don't want to show too much where it's traumatizing, but at the same time, you don't want to give too little and make it seem like it wasn't as big of a deal as it was. Harnish tells me the videos he does show, he shows with no context, so the students can sort of experience what so many of us did 20 years ago. They see videos of people almost in hysterics, you know, not really knowing what to say, and just you see the facial expressions on people. And I think really that helps students understand it, you know, quite significantly better. Working for you, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.